Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. How shall it be? This thing be seeing that i know not man and it says the holy ghost give us that scripture the holy ghost luke chapter 1 and verse 35 shall come upon you and the power of the highest he didn't say will come upon you will overshadow you it's the word baptizo you are immersed immersed in that glory immersed in that power this place to be on this final night it was by the spirit that dr andrew began to teach you about the leadership of the spirit and now i am telling you that the holy ghost is the factor that turns ordinary men into signs and wonders the holy ghost does not just overshadow men he overshadows things like your business things like your family handkerchiefs and aprons is it not in your bible were taken from out of the body of paul handkerchiefs and aprons the holy ghost overshadowed mary and a vision was birthed the word became flesh by the holy ghost the holy ghost is not an angel listen to me ladies and gentlemen the holy spirit is not one of those deities he is god he was sent by jesus he is the believer's advantage even the scripture that you read was a possibility because of his presence man holy men wrote as they were inspired by the holy ghost to ignore the holy spirit is to ignore your possibility for rising for lifting listen watch this your jesus your jesus my god i just saw like a dove and i'm seeing the number nine it's coming on nine people right now i stretch my hands nine help them please in the name that is above all names i bring you the ministry of the holy ghost in the name of jesus transforming you turning you to a sign and a wonder listen your jesus walked under a close heaven for 30 years even though he was the word incarnate the father never uttered a word because he had not received the ministry of the holy ghost he was born of the spirit but that was not enough that is a kind of new birth but now he needed to receive of the spirit the bible says when he came to john john spoke rightfully so behold the lamb of god that takes away the sins of the world but then when he baptized john 
it's in your bible that when john came out of the waters your bible says the heavens were open and the holy spirit in the similitude of a dove came and descended upon your jesus if jesus needed the holy ghost businessman you need more than a proposal and an idea please listen to me politician you need more than intelligence to just formulate policies it was by the spirit of god that daniel excelled even in babylon i bring you the ministry of the holy spirit the believer's advantage it is a way god helps men when god looks at a man in his lowly estate listen you know we're going to pray shortly my god there's such there's such an impartation of grace you will never be the same never never be the same i am speaking to you by the spirit your life your ministry your family never be the same the holy spirit behind every preacher doing great things for the kingdom is the holy spirit behind every businessman doing exploits for the kingdom is the holy spirit behind every family thriving and excelling in spite of the vicissitudes of life is the holy spirit again how shall these things be seeing that you know not a man elijah's speed was sponsored by the holy ghost the bible says and the hand of the lord came upon elijah is that in your bible that means the hand of the lord can come upon you and cause you to begin to run and overtake the chariots of ahab even down to Israel. that 10 years can be put in one year by the holy ghost by the holy ghost by the holy ghost listen the bible is not just a book of history it's not just a book of archaeology it's not just a book of literature you can open the bible but it must be opened and the scroll must be unlocked just because your bible is open does not mean you will see it is your assignment to open the book it is his assignment to unlock the scrolls that is the only condition for your eyes to see hallelujah now the lord is that spirit he says and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty 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 someone is a man of god here thank god for all the principles that make for excellence in ministry do not downplay them but all of them stand limiting outside of the superior authority of the holy spirit hallelujah yes sir he came upon mary and jesus arrived even elizabeth the one who prophesied to mary the bible talks about john who was filled with the holy spirit from his womb coming in the spirit and the power of elijah those of you in worship ministry let me tell you the truth no matter how artistically competent you are the life-giving factor in your singing is his presence and the power that comes from it those of you in business don't submit a piece of paper called proposal place his presence on it and submit them together place his power on it and submit them together you've been having bad reports returned to you because you've been submitting papers did your bible not say the lord walking with them the lord walking with them the lord walking with them confirming the word with signs following hallelujah you ask me the one secret behind my life i may not tell you that i have not studied i'll be lying i will not tell you that i'm not a student of history but all of those things i count but dung for the excellency of my relationship with the holy spirit it is the one secret it is the one secret help two people who begin to run now
coming out they are lit by the spirit please hold them so they don't injure themselves but they are really literally going to run out help them help them just hold them so they don't injure themselves this, this is a ministry of signs and wonders there's there's nothing unscriptural in what you are watching when the holy spirit is in a place you see the bible says to be carnally minded is death but to be spiritually minded is life and peace just like you were told to jump a few times it does not make sense god uses the foolish things you see it may not make sense but this is where yielding to the ministry of the holy spirit comes in fact the bible says the spirit beareth witness with our spirits hallelujah again dr andy explained it so powerfully here with our spirit that we have become one in theology we call it the doctrine of interpenetration it's the mystery by which two entities become one that is what is adumbrated in marriage where the man and the woman become one in the spirit they are still distinct individuals but in the spirit they have become one he that is joined to christ the bible says is one spirit my time is up there are three things we are going to do very quickly within the time that I have. I want to respect the time. Number one is that the Lord wants to activate something that has been locked up within your spirit. Within your spirit man. There is an investment of the spirit that is about to rest upon you. Like a hen resting upon her eggs so that it will hatch and produce. That's what God wants to do. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Did you know that the Holy Spirit is the creative dimension of the Godhead? Every time there is need for creation and the manifestation of the power of the Godhead, that gentleman jumping, lift your hands. I just saw fire coming on you. And the Lord is saying you are stepping into a new season in the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, let it be unto you as the Lord has spoken by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah Genesis 1 and verse 1 in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth verse 2 says now the earth was dark it was void it was formless is the Greek word toku wabohu confusion and chaos every time there was confusion as we see in the Bible it was the Holy Spirit the Spirit of God hovered around the face of the waters don't discuss your confusion and tragedy and pain introduce him to hover over it because every time the holy ghost hovers over that unemployment over over that family issue there is about to be creation this is what the bible teaches even god did not speak till he verified the presence of the holy spirit when the holy spirit was there the bible says and god said so before you say verify that he is there it is the union of his presence and your skin that produces creation not just your speaking your speaking will be empty and barren except the holy spirit leads the way lift your hands in one minute and thank god for tonight someone is praying pray in the spirit all the experience centers those following online go ahead and pray in the spirit take a minute or two and invest in your destiny as you pray in the holy ghost it says but be ye beloved building up yourselves on your most holy faith pray it in the holy ghost is someone praying in the spirit pray pray yourself in superior spiritual dimensions dimensions of power dimensions of grace dimensions of light dimensions of influence ascend realms in the spirit he said come up hither and i will show you the things that will happen afterwards Please pray.
Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Can I take a minute to speak over those who are trusting God? I know that you've been prayed for, but I just want to, generally speaking, speak over your life, whether it's infirmity or any situation at all that has mocked God in your life. You've taken the pain and the sorrow away. You've given me peace and undeniable. There's no need to cry because you're always with me. You're my father, my everything. Help me. Oh, may my... Taking the pain and the sorrow away, you've given me peace and deniable. You're my father. Let me pray for you. The Holy Spirit is that powerful. The Holy Spirit is that powerful able to sponsor salvation even to the uttermost able to bring healing to your body able to rewrite the narrative of your life and your destiny and here at this conference we're trusting god to accent heights in the spirit levels of grace even by the spirit zachariah said it is not by might it is not by power but it is by the spirit by the spirit by the spirit ezekiel chapter 2 from verse 1 it says son of man stand up upon your feet and it did not have that power that energy verse 2 says and the spirit entered me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet in the name of jesus the son of the living god i decree and declare over every ministry here represented every business here represented every family here represented and every challenge here represented by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus find rest now find rest now find rest now find rest now in the name of jesus christ the bible says in genesis chapter 24 and verse 1 he says now abraham was old and well stricken in age he says and the lord had blessed him in all things all things all things not some things there was a man called naaman the captain of the syrian army the bible says he was a valiant man in war but he was leprous in the name of jesus everything that is antichrist everything that is anti-destiny roaming around your life i stand under the corporate anointing in agreement with every servant of god here represented and we decree and declare let it roll out of your life right now let it roll out of your life right now let it roll out of your life right now let it roll out of your life right now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah the bible says in revelation chapter 3 it says i am he that was dead and now is alive he said and i hold the keys the holder of the key of david the key of david is a mysterious possibility in the kingdom he says and by that key i open a door that no man can shut can i declare the opening of doors listen a door is an authorized point of access if someone comes into your house through the fence he's in your house but he's not welcome because your fence is not the authorized access point jesus said i am the door that is how important doors are but doors and gates can also be barriers they limit access when they are closed 
a door that is there is a potential for access doors midwife realms your kitchen your living room your bathroom they are separated by walls and separated by doors if you want to midwife or transit from one part of your house to the other you don't walk through the wall you walk through the door but how many of you know that as as powerful as you are you can misplace the key to your door and it can keep you outside for a long time can i declare the opening of doors in the name of jesus the son of the living god every door every gate before you that has remained closed i speak to it now a fata be open a fata be open career doors be open career doors be open family doors be open financial doors be open in the name of jesus christ son of man can these bones live again it says only down the west it said prophesy to these bones and tell them oh bones hear ye the word of the lord that god will cause flesh and sinews to come upon you but the flesh was there but it was lifeless it says son of man call the four winds and say oh wind breathe upon this lane and they became an exceeding great army i declare let the wind of the spirit blow upon everything dead in your life blow upon everything dead in your life blow upon dead finances dead marriages dead wombs dead organs come back to life by the spirit in the name of jesus christ yeah. hallelujah for the sake of time i made a request in the morning we may not have the time to collate them but please lift your prayer requests and your expectation cards can i speak over them please if you have it if it's in an e-version just lift your phone or just stand by faith and for those who are connecting distance is no barrier at all all of the experience centers and then those who are connecting from across the globe this is how powerful god is hallelujah pray in the spirit in one minute a miracle is about to happen to you just do what i'm asking you to do Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6 says be anxious for nothing it says but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known don't assume that he knows let your request be made known hallelujah hallelujah now keep it lifted please help them I'm about to pray for you and I please want you to believe. I want you to believe. I'm standing under the corporate anointing here and I want to speak over this. Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do, Jesus? Creator of sex. Keep your hands lifted jesus told us that when the spirit of god comes he will testify of him he does not have any agenda on his own except to reveal jesus to reveal him as the way to reveal him as the truth and to reveal him as life everywhere you see the holy spirit his assignment is to reveal jesus in his entirety i want to pray for you right now please believe Believe in the name of Jesus. Take your mind away from the long-standing issues and let your attention be on Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shout a loud amen in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare 
by the power that raised Christ from the dead that every prayer request every expectation here lifted in the name of Jesus we turn it to testimonies now 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 in the name of Jesus Christ hear me for someone here is your prophetic word you will not see wind you will not see rain yet your valley shall be filled with water I decree it unto you you will not see wind you will not see rain but your valley shall be filled with water in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah for another person here you will experience the mystery of Aaron's rod that even though it is not connected to the earth it will still board I decree and declare you may not have any regular advantage but may the Holy Ghost be your advantage in your office may he be your advantage in Lagos in Abuja in Nigeria in Europe in America may he be your advantage in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah the lifeless body of Jesus is lying in the tomb of Joseph of Arimathea and my Bible says if that same spirit that raised Christ from the dead that if that same spirit resides hold on that means anywhere that dimension of the spirit is it raises whatever it rests on anything if it rests on a body it quickens the organs if it rests on finances it compels multiplication if that same spirit that spirit is a razor it does not leave anything at the level it met it if that same spirit i sense in my heart to declare over your finances please listen to me and don't allow anybody lie to you that it's not important no there is a prophetic dimension to wealth wealth answers to value it answers to productivity it is true but there is a, a dimension of wealth that comes by the prophetic it says believe in the lord your god so shall you be established believe his prophets so shall you prosper the prophet said by this time tomorrow there was no economic manipulation that would turn samaria to a place of abundance in 24 hours but the prophetic and that by the spirit let me speak over someone's wilderness according to isaiah 32 and verse 15 it says until the spirit is poured upon us from on high and then the wilderness shall be counted for a fruitful vine and a fruitful vine be counted for a forest everywhere there is drought even financially i command abundance now abundance through the ministry of mercy abundance through the gift of man in the name of Jesus Christ and for someone lifting your request I speak to you these Egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever you will see them no more forever in the name of Jesus my final declaration over your life dead prayer lives dead word study lives dead passion and appetite for the things of god it says that the fire upon the altar it must burn day and night for some of you you came for this conference it's a renewal conference for you because your prayer life until you came here was dead or dying word study life dead or dying passion for spiritual things dead or dying it doesn't matter what category by the spirit of the living god we fan your prayer life back to flames we fan your word study life back to flames we fan your passion for god for the things of god for the house of god back to flames in the name of jesus christ wave your hands to jesus wave your hands to jesus as an offering in faith believing it says what things soever ye believe 
when ye pray believe that thou receivest them and thou shall have them is someone saying thank you jesus thank you for the healing thank you for the new dimension thank you for the flight in the spirit for in jesus much less name we have prayed god bless you please put your hand down keep standing for one last minute on this final night it's my honor to make one last time an altar call i believe jesus said this about himself he said i am the way that way leads you to reality the truth and finally administers life unto you listen to me please minimize movement in every gathering such as this there are always men and women sent by god the lord added daily to the church as many as should be saved it is the will of god number one that all men be saved and then number two to come into the knowledge of the truth transformation is only a second experience salvation is the first experience in order of priority jesus is speaking to nicodemus in john 3 and 16 and he says for god so loved the world that he gave his then one and only begotten son now we know he's the first begotten among we the brethren he says that anyone whosoever that blessing is for whosoever believeth on him should not perish but have life eternal verse 17 says for god did not send his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved listen to me jesus can be a final resting place from every burden every pain you have trusted your life and your destiny to things of lesser power lesser worth lesser value with no verification whether they love you or not give jesus a chance the bible is a compendium of his integrity it is true when he says i have loved you with an everlasting love and i have drawn you with my loving kindness you can choose to reject jesus but I assure you by the spirit of the living God that he's able to give you a new beginning. First spiritually and then by his spirit to redirect the course of your life. Or perhaps you are here on ground, on site or following online and you are saying, Apostle, I remember I've made this call. But as it stands now, I cannot truly say that my Christian experience is rich enough to speak about. He's able to give you a new beginning. Hallelujah praise the name of the lord it says in the day that you hear his voice harden not your heart i'm going to make a final call for this session tonight counting one to five i'm only looking for one sincere person who is saying apostle sincerely i want to make it right with jesus i know that he can give me a new beginning my sins can be washed away I can start afresh i'm not ashamed of jesus wherever you are i want you to run and come and stand here i begin my counting now one let's celebrate them as they come two come 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 where would i be if you left me now where would i be come come to jesus where would i be celebrate them as they come for you who waited I'm about to pray so if you are joining them please make that fast and for those following online all the experience centers i believe that there might be someone some officials who can guide you on what to do those who are following online here is your chance to make jesus lord of your life even if you're following by way of a rebroadcast this is still an opportunity to make jesus lord of your life it is never late to make jesus lord of your life hallelujah the Bible says there is no other name under heaven given unto men by which we must be saved. Those in front, I salute you for your courage. May I please request that you lift your right hand high above your head as a sign of surrender. Please say this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, tonight I have heard your word. I declare 
that I love you with all my heart. I receive Jesus into my heart as my Savior, my Lord, and my King. I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. From tonight and forever, I am a child of God. Amen. Keep your hands lifted. Father, thank you for these precious ones. The Bible says, no man cometh to the Father except by Jesus. And Lord, I thank you because you have drawn these ones to yourself. I declare by the authority of Scripture that your sins are forgiven. And in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, you enjoy the life of God from tonight and even forever. May the Lord bless you. You go from glory to glory. In Jesus' matchless name, I Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.